Welcome to my five minute preview of ArchBang. Now ArchBang is based off of Arch Linux. And as you can see here, I'm using the uh, Pac-Man um, package manager and checking for updates. Now I did that previously before um, coming in here. And um, I also changed up the uh, appearances. You can see there's a bit of a shadow. There is a fade in and fade out. That's actually under preferences under eye candy. You could turn that off and get yourself um, a very basic system. I mean, look at the uh, CPU usage is actually up right now because I'm doing this uh, screen capture. Now, I actually went in and I installed uh, XVID screen cap for this screen capture. So let's uh, take a look at some of the default applications available. Now you can see here that um, that uh, the Firefox Aurora program is running by default. The fonts are really clean. I'm very impressed. Now you know Arch Linux is a little difficult for uh, new users to try out, but actually ArchBang itself is one of the easiest programs I've ever installed. I mean the installation process for me took uh, three to five minutes. I have a fast internet connection, but um, the ISO uh, was just really quick to install on my uh, my Intel i5 computer. So let's take a quick, quick look at YouTube. Now you'll notice that um, Flash is already installed um, by default. Now I'm going to scroll through some of the randomness on my uh, YouTube uh, subscriptions and let's pull something up to see uh, how well it's running. Do do do. Let's see. I'll grab something from one of these guys. Let's say Vsauce right here. I full screen this. It's at 720p, and you'll notice there's uh, really no stuttering, unless of course there's stuttering on my capture here. This is very clean. The audio is working. Uh, you won't be able to hear this because I'm actually recording the audio on my cell phone. I don't have a um, microphone attached. So let's see what else comes pre-installed here. Now this is um, Arch Linux with um, OpenBox on top of it. So it's it's very low um, usage. So let's check out and see how much we're actually using right now. Go into um, pre whoop, application system tools and go into the terminal and we'll see that I'm only using 163 megabytes of RAM while I'm doing the screen capture. Actually upon boot it's getting about 64 megabytes of RAM. So this is really fast and snappy for uh, new and old computers. I'm very impressed. In a way it's um, actually much faster than my um, XFCE install I had on Arch Linux a few minutes ago. Now as an Arch Linux user this is so easy to install. There's not much um, pre-installed. I mean, you've got your GNOME media player. Um, the audio is obviously working on default. There's all these little cool preferences set up automatically. This Office software, which I've never used, called Zathura. I'll have to look that up later. And um, some of the other accessories and applications. F simple file manager. Um, let's see, LeafPad. Now I think I can go in here under preferences and mess around with my uh, configuration files, but that's pretty much it. I mean, ArchBang is totally uh, a super easy to install Arch Linux uh, base. So if you're the kind of person that wants to uh, give Arch Linux a shot, but um, don't have very much experience, maybe you've tried it a couple times and found that it's uh, not installing for you, try uh, try ArchBang, give it a shot, get um, used to um, you know, to Pac-Man. Um, I actually find that Pac-Man's a really simple uh, package manager to work with. You know, uh, being able to find stuff like uh, GNOME, for instance, or uh, well, let's do a search for LXDE. You know, super, super easy to uh, find what you're looking for. It's a simple command. Well, um, I'm very impressed with this. I think I'm going to keep it on my computer for a little while since uh, my Arch Linux install got destroyed by VirtualBox. So um, thanks for uh, watching, and have a wonderful day.